This is CNC World, a new perspective. What did the Kung Fu master Bruce Lee have in common with the French sculptor Auguste Rodin? And what are the similarities between Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen and the Spanish surrealistic painter Salvador Dali? The answer is dragon. According to the Chinese zodiac, all four of them were born in the auspicious year of the dragon, and there are many more. From the French thinker Jean-Jacques Rousseau to German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, from Hollywood star Shirley Temple to actor Nicolas Cage, and of course you may find even more dragons as your neighbors or even your family members. What's so special about the dragon, which is full of myth and legend, and those people who were born in the year of the dragon? In China, many people believe that those who were born in the year of the dragon are innovative, enterprising, self-assured, brave, passionate, and pioneering. Does this hold true? Maybe it's hard to give a simple yes or no, but let's start with a familiar face, at least in the news. Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, born in 1952, a dragon. Media reports and surveys highlight his personality and link it with the success of his career. And he himself echoes back. I was actually born in the year of the dragon. As a rule, these have always been successful times for us. I hope this time too the dragon brings success, prosperity and well-being to every Russian family, to all our people. It seems dragons are born to be linked with power and authority, but experts say it's not necessary. Hu Xiaowei, a senior researcher of Chinese culture, notes that the powerful dragon attributes are more of a modern cultural fashion rather than an ancient tradition. Amid China's history of more than 5,000 years, the dragon did not become the genuine symbol of power until about 500 years ago, in China's Ming and Qing dynasty. That's why people nowadays like to link dragon with strength and power. Perhaps that is what Vladimir Putin wants to present, an image of strong leadership and trust in the public. But anyway, it is a very modern explanation. While scholars continue to debate on the zodiac's meaning, ordinary Chinese people have never stopped seeking the secret of the personalities behind the mysterious system. In China, the 12 animals and their personality traits are printed on the lunar calendar. Beginning with a rat and ending with a pig, the 12-year cycle of the zodiac system has long been used by the Chinese as a sort of a guide to their life in an auspicious manner. Since 2012 is the year of the dragon, it is very easy to calculate all the certain dragon years back through history and forward into the future via the calendar. And you could find out the personality traits and the age of any fellow dragons around you based on the year of their birth. And the tradition has now increased in popularity across the globe. Um, I found out I was a dragon when I went to a Chinese restaurant with my family when I was about 13 and on the, the menu. When uh, I was a kid, I remember my family, we, we used to go to the Chinese district in Paris and uh, we like to compare our signs. And they are very proud of being the auspicious animal. Uh, I was very happy because I, had, I was a dragon. And, uh, for instance, my sister, she was disappointed because she was a pig. And she's... I think my brother was like a rat or a monkey or something, so I teased him a lot about that. There is a prevalent saying that the dragons always think of themselves as the greatest and the most pioneering creation of the Almighty. Dragon Agnes Douglas agrees with it. She was born in 1964, living with her family in Vancouver, Canada. Douglas believes the personality traits pretty much describe her. I th I, that, I was kind of surprised to see the pioneering in there, but I would say that because I like to think that if there's a path in life to take, I'll take my, I, I, I won't always take the path that's always um, 
more driven, if you know what I mean. If there's a path out there that I know I should take that's never been um, on before, I'll take it, no matter what it is. And I find that um, generous and loyal, definitely. Besides the pioneering, the down-to-earth nature of dragons is their trademark. Delightful, spontaneous, go-getter and truthful are their labels. However, there are always two sides to everything. According to the modern sayings on the Chinese zodiac, dragons' egos are quite evident at work, but the people are still forced to respect their views. They have plenty of self-respect. Honestly, I want to answer no, but the truth is that people reproach me often. Yes, I'm someone that likes to be precise, likes things to be well done, and I'm a bit stubborn in the way that I learn to be like this. It's not on the left, not on the right, but straight on. 36-year-old French teacher Gregory Burgett echoes that sentiment. I would say that I'm quite, uh, you know, stubborn, obstiné. I think I, I like to be perfect. I like the perfection like anyone, but I don't know if it's particular to dragon people. Uh, if I can, if anyone can can find any mistakes, I will be. Uh, it would be a nightmare. It is also described that the dragons never follow the past, but rather thrive for a smooth and a nice future. For 24-year-old Alisa Palmer, busy all the time is a personal catchphrase. My, uh, my one friend said to me, uh, we were going out to a party, and I said, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, we're gonna be late. And he goes, you're so bossy. But uh, I don't know, I think that might be a good thing. Although uncompromisingly truthful at times, Dragons can make a loyal and a trustworthy friends, and that's according to the Zodiac. There is another saying that angry dragons aren't open to criticism, and they don't even consider themselves irritating or arrogant. On my experience, I had some conflict with some bosses, I had some disappointments, but I never blocked on it. I always came forward. Learning about the dragon's alleged personality is one thing, Believing it or not is another. Dragons are supposedly natural artists, and the restlessness for starting new ventures is one of their hallmarks. But as Agnes Douglas says, sticking to such an issue isn't her cup of tea. I don't think of myself as artist, um, artistic. I don't have that, that natural ability to create things. That's the one aspect I don't have. You know, I'm good with numbers, I'm good with looking at, you know, I can create a portfolio, stocks and bonds and so forth like that. That's my business. The modern saying about the Chinese zodiac also indicates that the dragons are not shy about going after what they want. And those born under this sign may be outspoken and say whatever they're feeling at the time. But the truth is... And it also said that the dragons aren't able to control their moods very well, but I think I have a pretty good poker face, so I would say that's not very true. Just like Western horoscopes, the Chinese zodiac dragon prompts gossip about who best matches and contradicts the animal's supposed traits. Boys and girls prefer to consider the marriage match according to Chinese zodiac. It's not traditional, but something occurred in recent years. For example, there's a saying that a horse and an ox or a rooster and a monkey won't make it. And the year of the dragon is a good year to get married for roosters, rats and monkeys, while it's all ill-timed for rabbits. Despite its traditional roots, the Chinese zodiac isn't seen as a superstitious scam. In contrast, many people believe it's an important and a very helpful guide to living a prosperous and healthy life. Admittedly, from both sociological and behavioral science perspectives, there is no connection between personalities and the animals of zodiac. But these theories could help us to adjust our defects. This is also an interesting example of the collision of Eastern and Western cultures. There are also funny folk customs this year for those of you who are dragons. The 24-year-old Russian Zana Manukian noted the most important one, underwear. And when it was the time of New Year, Chinese New Year, and you could see all those red things in supermarkets everywhere, and our teacher told us that we were supposed to wear red underwear uh, if it was the year of a dragon, or anywhere, whatever the year is. 
experts explain that one has to be careful and prudent in his or her animal year, and the color of red is a sign of a warning. Take a dragon person for instance. The age of 12 is at the beginning of adolescence. The age of 24 is at the time of graduation from college, whereas the age of 36 is oftentimes at the crossroads of one's career and family. Every key stage in every 12 years is in accordance with the years of animal throughout his or her life. Red bolts, red socks, and red bracelets, and their reminders. They provide the power of suggestion, cue the characters, in addition to promoting a prudent, awake attitude in the coming year. In ancient Chinese philosophy, people's fate is not something always heading towards the good side. It's a spiral and fluctuating movement, so people could benefit from warning in the next year. Among the twelve animals in the Chinese zodiac, the dragon is the only mythological beast that can fly high in the sky. However, in speaking with the dragon's offspring, not all of them could win or even to be noble. And in ancient Chinese tales, the dragon has nine sons. Which take on different roles. Say they could appear on swords, the symbol of force or musical instrument, the symbol of art, as well as ridges of palaces, the symbol of vigilance. The symbol of endurance, you know, Bi Xi, also a son of the dragon, always carries a stone monument on its back. So the dragon sons do different jobs. It's not like that they're all noble and are all leaders. According to Hu Xiaowei, this saying stands for "We human beings, diversity of personalities." We see from this is about multiculturalism and harmony. We are different individuals, but we are all offspring of the dragon. Such Chinese symbols and culture are now prevalent overseas. And let's say dragon aren't about superstition; they're about a spirit of perseverance, unity, integration, and advancement. In Asia, the spirit of a dragon is often talked about more than the personality traits. People believe, no matter what zodiac animals you are, whenever you feel a surge of dynamism for making a difference, is your dragon moving? A dragon within. This is CMC World. A new perspective.